Real quick, before this video starts, if you guys have not already noticed, I just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and what YouTube gives you once you hit that milestone is something called the Community tab. And what you can do on the Community tab is you can post pictures, you can post video links, and of course you can post polls and questions to ask your subscribers, which I can use for feedback and suggestions. Now, I do plan on using this feature quite a bit, so you guys can turn on post notifications to see whenever I post in the community tab, or you can just check up on it, as I will do questions and polls, and of course, as I already said, pictures and video links, possibilities are endless, and I should already have a question up on the community tab for you guys to answer. Very simple question. All it is is, what is your favorite NFL team? I just want to see your guys' favorite teams, the division between my fan base, and let's just see how many numbers we can get for each team. Let's just see. So, answer that question real quick. Thank you guys for 1,000 subs, and let's get to the video. YouTube, the series 500 days in the making is back. The 32 team bracket, this time with the 10th total episode. If you guys are new to this series, it's self explanatory. I take every single team in the NFL, throw them into a large March Madness style bracket, and I have live simulation games with funny moments and crazy upsets, of course, to crown a Super Bowl winner in the 32 team bracket. Now, as some of you guys might know, I like to do something different for each bracket, each episode, whether it's inspiration for one of your guys' comments or something I came up with, you know, such as alphabetical order, no conferences, or randomized spinner. I like to do something different for each episode, and for the 10th episode, I like to do something for the milestone for hitting 10 episodes, and it's going to be kind of like looking back in the past 9 episodes. There is a spoiler warning for this video, however, of course, it's going to go over the past 9 episodes and the winners of all the 32 team brackets I've done in the past. So if you're interested in this series and you haven't watched the past ones, you can check out my channel on the 32 team bracket playlist to see the old ones, and you can come back to this one if you like. Now what I'm doing for this video, I actually already did it, but I went through every single NFL team and the past 9 episodes of this series and I counted every single win they had and every single loss they had in the series. So every single win, every single loss, kind of like a record, and I added them all up. Of course, the best record in the AFC or the NFC, number one seed, and then the worst record in the conferences will be the 16 seed. I did this for both conferences, and you're probably thinking, why well, don't even know the records? How am I supposed to know? Well, I made these sheets, which I'll put on the screen right about now. So you can see on screen right now, we have the AFC 32 team bracket records, and one thing I'm going to mention real quick is the tiebreaker in the bottom. It says tiebreaker most recent win. What that means is the team that won most recently in the series, they get the tiebreaker over the other team. Of course, there's quite a few tiebreakers in this. Uh, of course, every single win, every single loss of the past nine episodes, and things to take away real quick, the Chiefs, very dominant, followed by the Ravens, the Browns, the Bills, and you can see the Bengals, Jets, Jaguars, those the teams at the bottom. And you're probably thinking there's one thing in common between all these teams is why do they all have nine losses, or most of them? Well, there's been nine episodes, and of course, only one team wins every episode, so a lot of teams are going to have nine losses. But for the teams that do not have nine losses, such as the Chiefs, the Ravens, the Bills, and the Patriots, that means that they actually ended up winning one of these. That is the spoiler warning I was talking about. As you can see, the Chiefs, 24-7, and seven, they won two of them. Ravens won one, Bills won one, and the Patriots won one. So you can take a look at these standings right here. Read it like a book, top left, top left to top right. You can see one through 16 seed, reading it like that. And this is the AFC. Let's go and take a look at the NFC now. And of course, same things apply, everything. But one thing to take a note on is the Eagles are the best performing team in the NFC in the last nine episodes, which is kind of crazy. The Rams following, they're 16 seven, which means they've won two of them, but the Eagles actually had tiebreaker. Seahawks, Saints follow, and then of course the Lions, Surprisingly, the Vikings and the 49ers at the bottom, too. Really weird teams in NFC. NFC has really weird seeds. Same thing for the AFC. I'll let you take a look at this in a second. Pause if you need to. Go back if you need to. This is a look at the NFC and AFC 32 team bracket records. And what I'm going to do, take all this, throw it into a bracket, and I'll have the bracket right up on the screen right about now. And here's a look at our bracket based off the nine previous episodes and their standings. We can take a look at the matchup starting with the AFC, the Chiefs versus Bengals, the Chargers versus Titans, the Steelers versus Raiders, Bills Broncos, Patriots Texans, Browns Jaguars, Colts Dolphins, and Ravens Jets. Going into the NFC, we have the Eagles Lions, Panthers Washington, Bucks Bears, Saints Falcons, Cowboys Giants, Seahawks Niners, Packers Cardinals, and Rams Vikings. So a lot of possibilities for some great upsets, especially in the NFC side. This is going to be a fun one. The 10th episode of 32 Team Bracket starts now. Our first game, no expectations needed. The Chiefs pull out the win, 45 to 14. How about that? The Bengals are one in 10 in this series. Kind of crazy. Chiefs move on to the second round. Next game. From the 40 with just over one minute remaining here in LA. Chargers versus Titans, down by three. It's Justin Herbert and the blue and yellow. Let's see if they can do anything with 60 seconds. All right, make it 30 seconds after 30 seconds were just wasted. Justin Herbert finally gets up and snaps this one. 
Sends it deep, looking more for Dutch. Three, caught! Touchdown! They take the lead right there. Gutton. How about that? 34 to 31. We've seen this over and over again. Wasn't the Titans... I'm pretty sure the Titans had the exact same thing happen to them. Justin Herbert throws the deep ball. And defense just burnt. And the Chargers score six. Unbelievable. That, that just seems to happen a lot now. But Gunton finds the end zone. Or guided. I don't know how you pronounce that. And now with the extra point up next. Four point game with half with a quarter or a minute remaining for the Titans. And this is the final play for the Titans. They just cannot catch a break in these simulations. Now it's seven seconds from the 18-yard line. They need to do what the Chargers just did. Ryan Tannehill scrambles on the run. Inter Patrick Mahomes throws this one. And this one finds its way into an interception. And time expires. Chargers, miracle play. Hold on. 35-31. to 31. The Chargers are moving on. And the, the Titans. I just, I feel so bad. They just can never, never find their way through these. Justin Herbert, 460 yards, four touchdowns. Chargers got the win. And looks like Justin Herbert deserved it. Next game. And how about this? 24 to 17, 49 seconds left. Steelers trailing by seven. Big Ben from his own territory, the 26 yard line. Oh, stop it. Once again, Deontay Johnson touchdown. It happens again. It just loves to happen. Deontay Johnson, 74 yards to the house. Six points. Or the Pittsburgh Steelers are now extra point away from tying it. And already, first play, we jump in just like that. Deontay Johnson gets open. Not even a chance to stop that. And now six points on the board. 24-23, extra point ties it. Raiders get it right back. I, I don't know why that happens. Very unrealistic, but, I mean, it's Madden. Can't complain. All right, good news. The Raiders have three timeouts. Bad news, they're starting from the 13-yard line. So there is a chance they can go down the field. Derek Carr looks... Looking, midfield, hey, good 11-yard pickup, that's all I need. Got to call a timeout here, though, and they do. 30 seconds left. Daniel Carlson, his target is the 40-yard line, and they just got 10 more. So now from the 25, right back where they should have been, they had a holding penalty, which backed them up around 10 yards, tied at 24. And they're actually going to let time tick down with three timeouts, now down to 20 seconds. No timeout called quite yet. Maybe they're just going for overtime. No, they're going to line up. Yeah, they are going for overtime. Not even going to try. Hey, if I was Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady or a quarterback with three timeouts on the board, I would go for it. Have a chance. Go down the field. But the Raiders, John Gruden says no. And now to overtime. So let's see who wins the toss and let's see who gets the ball. So the Raiders won the toss all the way to the eight-yard line. If they get in the end zone, they win the game. But Steelers can stop for a three and get a chance. And Derek Carr almost throws a pick there. That was intended for his tight end, Waller. Or Wallen, 24 all from the 8-yard line, 2nd down and goal. Repeat down from 2nd down and goal, 8 yards to go for a game-winning touchdown. Hand off to Josh Jacobs, goes nowhere. Back it up 2 yards, and now, big 3rd down for both teams. 10 yards to go, 3rd down and goal. Raiders, Derek Carr. Pass, looking, full rush for the Steelers. Here comes some pressure, TJ Watt takes him down. To the 19-yard line. And that's going to be a field goal now. However, they managed to take the clock all the way down to two minutes. So, it's just going to be like a game-ending run for the Steelers as they got a score with two minutes. And it can't be a field goal. We're not ending on a tie, of course. TJ Watt, pressure in. Nine-yard takedown. And a kick for a field goal for three points is what the Raiders are going to have to settle for. How about this? You're joking. I was just watching this. The Steelers to the house. Touchdown kick return. The Steelers are going to win this game. Oh, 97 yard touchdown return. The Steelers are moving on. Raiders fall short. And I was just watching that. I never commentate the kick returns because nothing ever happened. But I saw him make that first move around the 40 yard line. And he finds his way through everything. Nothing but daylight. The Steelers are moving on to the second round. Raiders come close. Steelers, game-winning walk-off touchdown. McLeod the third with a kick return. How about that?
A crazy game ends in a crazy way. 30 to 27, Steelers come out of the win versus the Raiders, who almost put off the upset. Next game in the AFC. With 45 seconds and a fourth down and 10, let's just see if the Broncos can pull out a miracle. We've seen already two in this game, or two in this episode already. Drew Locke, for the first down completion. This one ends on a pick. Can he get six out of it? Will not, but the Bills will hold on. Final score, 23 to 21, here from Buffalo. Next game. Our bracket stays clean with no upsets as the Patriots pull out a win versus the number 11 seed Texans, 34 to 24. Keep in mind that this is still a 2020 rosters, so Texans still have Deshaun Watson and JJ Watt. Next game. And this game was all about the Cleveland show. 38-7 final score here from Cleveland. Jaguars apparently didn't stand a chance. Moving on. And here's a look at our first upset based off seeding. The Dolphins come out with a big win over the Indianapolis Colts. Phillip Rivers, 2020 rosters of course. 27-6. No worries at all for the Dolphins for the first game. And we have one more game in the AFC. Ravens, Jets, let's get it done. And then on to the NFC. Let's go. Wait a second, before we get into the NFC, if the Jets get one yard here, they get a touchdown. They're going to look for a pass. Sam Darnold, here comes some pressure, going to take off himself, and he's going to get sacked. He's going to get taken down. 35 seconds now. Time is going to run from the six-yard line now, and they should have should have ran that ball right there. That should have that was a Seahawks moment. Should have just punched that in with a halfback, but nope. Sam Darnold, not fast enough, gets taken down. And they're going to line up from the 6 now with 20 seconds. So this could be their last chance. They got to get in the end zone. And the extra point to take a lead. Sam Darnold is going to take off again. He's not going to make it. Got to look for a pass. And he doesn't make it again. Are you kidding, Jets? They fall short. They're not going to be able to get another one off. A choke on offense. All you have to do is run the ball. And you choke. Ravens pull out a win. 20-30-17. I'd consider them lucky to be here because the Jets... They just did what the Jets do best. Choke. 23-17. And we're done with the AFC. Let's head up to the NFC in our first game. Let's go. Yes, the Lions are leading. And yes, the Eagles are somehow the number one seed in this series. Up by two points. If the Lions get a first down, they pull up the true biggest upset. The 16 seed versus the one seed. First play, first timeout. 30 seconds remaining. 21-19. Second down and seven. Seven yards to go for a 16 seed upset. Hand the ball off. Remember, that's Matthew Stafford. Oh, 2020 rosters. Does he fight for it? Timeout has been called, but does he get the first down? It was close. Will Madden give it to him? They will. First down for the Lions. The Lions are 26 seconds away from pulling off the biggest upset. The 16 seed versus the 1 seed. Don't ask how the Eagles are the 1 seed. They just, of course, somehow the best performing team in this series. And now 26 ticks away. From becoming an upset champion. They're going to call the last time out. But that game, far from over. Lions win. 21-19. Let's move on to our next game. 16 seed in the second round. Let's go. And we're used to low scoring battles with Washington. But they still managed to get the job done. 17-10. Defensive stops. All they need. Low offense. Still works. 17-10. Final score here from Carolina. Washington moving on. Well... NFC North teams, their dreams come to die when they play in Tampa Bay. Final score, 37-17. Tom Brady and the Bucks moving on to the second round. Next game up. A classic division rivalry ends in the Saints getting a big win over the Atlanta Falcons. 38-17, final score from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. And another divisional matchup between the Cowboys and the Giants. Cowboys in AT&T Stadium at home. Down by eight. Need of touchdown and two-point conversion. Half a minute remaining. Dak Prescott delivers. Finds his receiver. Touchdown in the back of the end zone. And I believe that is Michael Gallup. 40-yard touchdown. But it's not over yet because they need the two-point conversion. It'll be 28-26 to right now. Tied up at 28 with half a minute remaining. Can the Cowboys do it from the two-yard line? Need of two. Look at this pass from Dak Prescott. All the way to Michael Gallup. Touchdown to the Cowboys. Two-point conversion up next. All right, two-point conversion. This is huge. This is for the game. Tying two-point conversion. If they don't get it, they lose. This one, easy slant to guess who? Amari Cooper. 28 all. Giants get it back. Half a minute remaining. I believe the Giants are just going to play for overtime. Let's just see real quick. Maybe they can do an inner Hail Mary play. And they're going to hand the ball off for overtime. So Saquon Barkley will run out the clock and we're moving to overtime. Let's see who gets the ball. In overtime, there's already 2 minutes and 45 seconds left. It's been a back and forth battle, and whoever scores first 
wins the game. Hand off to Saquon Barkley. Weird collision into his own lineman. And that's going to be a three-yard pickup, third down 11. So whoever gets points on the board first, sudden death wins this game. Two minutes, 30 seconds left in overtime. Giants, third down and 11. From their own 39-yard line, Daniel Jones. 11 yards to go to midfield of the Cowboys logo. Looks for the pass. Four rush for the Cowboys. Sends us one. This one's going to be a toe-tap catch. I believe that's Evan Ingram. Out of bounds. Two minutes left it is. First down and 10. A new set of downs for the Giants. At the 45-yard line now. Getting real close to taking a field goal. If they get any points, they win the game. March their way downfield. Field goal attempt and win the game. That's what the Giants are looking at right now. Good catch. Standing bounds, Evan Ingram. Here comes the field goal kick to win the game for the New York Giants in AT&T Stadium. Kick, snap, hold, kick is up. And it is straight down the uprights. Good. The Giants are moving on to the second round. The 11 seed beats the number 6 seed in Dallas. Next game, the NFC up next. Final score from AT&T Stadium, 31-28 in overtime. And this is considered a pretty big upset as the number 14 seed beat the number 3 seed. The Seahawks fall short to their division rivals, the Niners. The Niners who don't deserve to be 14 seed, but hey, they still got the win. And they get it done. Final score from Seattle, 31-21. Niners are moving on to the second round. And the Packers, I kid you not, they just cannot win in these at all. 24-19, the Cardinals, even though it's not a major upset, they still manage to get it done. The 10 seed beats the 7 seed. The Packers, they don't deserve to be the 7 seed, but they always perform bad. And here, perfectly shows it. Final score from Lambeau, 24-19. Cardinals are moving on. One more game in the first round. This game got close. The number 15 seed Vikings just falls short, but the number 2 Rams will hold on. 21-18. From SoFi Stadium. And with a look at that, we now have our eight matchups, or is it 16? It's our eight matchups going into the Sweet 16. Let's take a look at them real quick, starting with the AFC with the Chiefs versus Chargers, Steelers versus Bills, Patriots, Browns, and Dolphins, Ravens. And in the NFC with the Lions versus Washington, Bucks versus Saints, Giants versus Niners, and Cardinals versus Rams. I gotta say, there's some pretty competitive matchups going into the Sweet 16, and looking for some good games out of this. Starting the AFC, Chiefs Chargers. Let's go. All right, this game at Arrowhead Stadium. If the Chargers knock down this field goal, it'll be a tie game at 38. Let's see if they can do it. The kick is up, and the kick is through the uprights. Good. 38 all in Arrowhead Stadium, and more than likely removing the overtime because the Chiefs will probably just run this one out. Let's see what happens in the extra minutes to play in overtime. So the Chargers got the ball first in overtime, and they're at the 30 yard line in Chiefs territory. If they get a touchdown, Game over, but they can still get three, and the Chiefs will have a chance. Justin Herbert delivers. Find a catch up to the 21-yard line. Nine-yard pickup for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and a second down on one play. This is nine reception, and time stands at four minutes and 15 seconds in overtime. Second down and one from the 21-yard line, Justin Herbert. 38 all game. Looking for the end zone to win it. Finds a pass. Midfield. This one goes to Hunter Henry again. And they're marching their way to the 8-yard line now. Two back-to-back -back receptions for Hunter Henry for about 25-plus yards right there, almost. And now from the 8-yard line, 8 yards away from possibly winning this game. 8-yard line, Justin Herbert, first down and goal. They can win this game in possible one or two more plays. They hand this one off. This one's going to run up to Austin Eckler. He finds his way to the 2-yard line. Just short, second down and goal, but they're still almost there. Two-yard line, three minutes in overtime. Justin Herbert, can they pull off the upset versus their division rivals, the Chiefs? They hand the ball off. This one's Austin Eckler. He finds his way to the end zone. The Chargers are moving on to the Elite Eight. The Chiefs knocked out earlier than expected, and the Chargers, the eight seed, knock out the one seed in the AFC, and they win this game 44-38, to and it is good to be in the Elite Eight, isn't it? Chargers are moving on. Final score from Arrowhead, 44-38. to Austin Eckler, walk-off touchdown. Moving on. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, a surprising 10-point win on the road versus the Bills in the Sweet 16. 41-31, to final score from Buffalo. And the Pittsburgh Steelers moving on to the Elite Eight. Next game. And a surprising 19-point win for the New England Patriots and Cam Newton. They'll beat the Browns on the road. Baker Mayfield, the Browns, expected to go far. They'll miss in this one. And the Patriots are moving on to the Elite Eight. Next games. And an impressive upset, you can say. The Dolphins will get this one done over the Ravens. Not too sure what the score was, but I know they won. 
This final score of this game looks like it's going to be 27 to 17. So it's a 10 point win for the Dolphins. And that is the final game of the AFC. And going into the NFC now, who will join the other four teams in the Elite Eight? Let's go. And unbelievably, the 16 seed Lions on the road twice. They beat the Eagles in their first game, and now they've beaten Washington. I know it's not really the impressive teams to beat, but still being the number 16 seed is moving on to the Elite Eight. Kind of crazy. I think this might be the first time it's ever happened. They went over Washington in a higher scoring game, 35 to 24. Left them scoreless in the first, and it says one point in the second. I don't know. That's a glitch. <laughs> Lions win the game, moving on the NFC. How about that? An unexpected huge win for the Saints. This is really similar to week one of the 2020 season where we saw the Saints blew out the Bucks in week one. Drew Brees, of course, now he's retired. 420 yards, six touchdowns, and a 75% completion rate. And closes the win for a big win for the New Orleans Saints. 48-26. Final score from Mercedes-Benz Superdome, and they're moving on to the Elite Eight. Let's continue. And in MetLife Stadium, time is going to expire, and our final score is 29-21. The 49ers moving on. So the 14 seed and the 16 seed are in the Elite Eight. 29-21. Of course, the Niners are the 14 seed. I, they don't deserve to be the 14 seed, but hey, that's just that's just how they've been playing throughout the series, and they're moving on. So we have one more game in the Sweet 16, and then we have a look at the Elite 8. Sweet 16 is going by pretty fast, but let's continue with the last game. And in SoFi Stadium in LA, it's a really low scoring game, 13-6 in the Cardinals. They have one shot at it. From the 29-yard line, Kyler Murray has to get the end zone. Can they do it? This one, law ball, and this one picked out of bounds, but is it incomplete? Yes, it's rolled an incompletion on the field, which actually gives the Cardinals a chance. So second down to 10, and with two ticks remaining, this is the last play. Still staying at the 29-yard line. It's a touchdown game, so if they get the six points and the extra point, it'd be a 13-all game. But if not, can't get it. We're looking at a low-scoring win for the LA Rams. 29-yard line. This one's going to be sent kind of early. This one is knocked out. Not going to do it. And the Rams hold on 13-6. to Low-scoring game. And they find their way to the Elite Eight. So with that being said, here's a look at our bracket now. With our eight final teams. Very weird, isn't it? Starting with the AFC, our two matchups will be the Chargers at the Steelers. And then the Dolphins at the Patriots. And the NFC, we have the Lions at the Saints. And now we have the Niners at the Rams. So some high scoring seeds have made it this far. Let's see if they can make it a little bit farther. Going into our first game, the AFC, Chargers, Steelers. Let's go. All right, the Steelers are lining up to take the game winning kick. Time expires. Kick is up. And it is good. 23-20, final score from Pittsburgh. And the Steelers are the first team to punch their ticket to the Final Four. Winning over the Chargers, 23-20. Next game is the Dolphins at the Patriots. And surprisingly, the Patriots can get this one done as well. 35-23, they win big over their division rivals, the Dolphins. And the Patriots, with Cam Newton in the Final Four, they'll play the Steelers. So we have our two final teams left in the AFC, and we need the other two from the NFC. Final score from Fox Road, 35 to 23. Before we move on any further, I just want to tell you that this is not scripted. This is Madden. Well, I mean, I guess Madden is scripted anyways, but I'm not coming up with this in the spot. The Lions are 40 to 14. This would never happen. I think we all can set that aside right now that the Saints would not lose this bad in the Lions. Maybe not even another damn 50 years before. I, I just, it just doesn't seem like this is possible. 40 to 14 is a score right now. The Lions, the 16 seed, is going to the final four. This is the farthest the 16 seed has ever made it. Convenient enough for the 10th ever. They beat the Eagles in the first round and the Washington in the second round. We thought, like, okay, maybe it's not impressive. But now, beating the, beating the Saints by almost 30 points, and the Lions have proved that they are contenders in this bracket. The Lions are one of the two teams in the Final Four representing the NFC. And we have one more. It's going to be either the Niners or the Rams. Let's find that out right now. This bracket has been crazy. Let's continue. Well, it looks like the number two seed is currently in some trouble. With about a half minute remaining, they do have some timeouts to spare. But they're down by four. Need of a touchdown. First completion to Woods. Finds his way all the way to the 47 yard line and that timeout has been called SoFi Stadium 25 to 21 Rams down by four with half a minute remaining 
31 seconds, 25 to 21 from the Rams logo. 47 yard line in Rams territory. Just outside Niners territory. This one's a bullet, just overthrows Cooper Cup. That would have taken the lead of the number two seed and would have possibly won the game with only 26 seconds left. Right now, what we're looking at is the number two seed versus the 14 seed. If the 14 seeds win, which of course is the Niners, then in the final four, we'll have the 16 seed versus the 14 seed. Insane, isn't it? Rams, however, they can still find their way in. Down by four, though. Just got to get in the end zone. 26 seconds left. 47-yard line. Shorter pass. This is going to be a completion, but won't quite get out of bounds as they will have to call a timeout. And now looking at a third down and two with 20 seconds remaining. Can the Rams do it? All right, so 25-21 and 20 ticks on the clock. From 49-yard line. This one, complete, midfield, open field, can he make it? It's a run down, and yes, he will! Touchdown, Rams! They take the lead! 45-yard touchdown. Looks like the tight end. Garoppolo not having it. I think that was, was it Higby, if I'm not wrong? Midfield, no one is near him. Yes, it's Tyler Higby, 89 in the Rams, and it was just... A foot race from there, and he finds his way to the end zone and takes the lead for the Rams. So the 14 seed might have the road cut short as the Rams now up by three points with this extra point. Extra point is up. Score 28 to 25. Niners get the ball back with probably about 10 seconds of the clock. All right here it is. Three ticks in the clock. Final play down by three from their own 34 yard line. Just looking to do a Hail Mary. He's going to short pass this one. George Kittle. And that's just not going to do much at all. And the Rams, with their last impression, touch, last impression touchdown to Tyler Higby, will take this one into the final four and meet the Lions. So we have a look at our new bracket. Final score from SoFi Stadium. 28 to 25. Hold up real quick. And we have the Steelers versus the Patriots and the Lions versus the Rams. Interesting, isn't it? First game, the AFC Steelers-Patriots. Let's go. And I don't know how it's still going, but the Patriots punch their way to the Super Bowl. 42-28 on the road again. And the Patriots and the Lions in this bracket, definitely the surprise teams we were not ready for. The number six seed Patriots are moving to the Super Bowl. They've already won one of these, they've already won one of these in the past, so they can win another. And it all starts here. Final score from the AFC Championship, 42-28. NFC Championship between the Lions and the Rams up next. The Lions currently lead in SoFi Stadium right now, but the Rams have been trailing. Oh, how about a pick? I was going to say the Rams have been used to playing from behind, but the Lions get the ball right back. Desmond Trafant with the pick, 14-6 game, and all they have to do is manage the clock, get a first down, and the Lions would be moving to the Super Bowl. He read that like it was nothing, just stole it from Robert Woods. If he didn't do that, that was probably a touchdown as well. So Matthew Stafford, who of course, I'm using 2020 rosters, is supposed to be on the team he is playing right now, is still on the Lions in this case. 14-6. to Two-minute warning is still there, so there's basically four timeouts to the Rams' favor, and they just got to march through a first down, and they can win this game 14-6 to and move to the Super Bowl as a 16 seed. This is crazy. It's just still going on. This is the best underdog team. We have seen yet. Matthew Stafford looking for a pass. Here comes some pressure. This one's complete for the first down. Go ahead and waste a timeout right there. Or waste the two-minute warning timeout for the Rams. They get they get kind of lucky that two-minute warning. So the Lions still need another first down. But that was definitely helpful that they go, got one right there. And they actually, they might get some points out of this too. They could get a field goal. That was Danny Amadola, the used-to-be Patriot. And now down to the two-minute warning. It all comes down to this. Can the Lions get one more first down, or will the Rams get another chance? 14-6, two-minute warning. If the Lions complete for eight yards here, they win the game. If not, the Rams get a chance. Matthew Stafford's going to pass. Here comes some pressure. It's a blitz. Luckily, he got that one out, and it actually saves the timeout for the Rams, too. That could have been way worse, but still not good. Fourth down and eight at the 44-yard line. Are they in Rams territory is my question, because... Are they? I'm not too sure because they could take a field goal. I don't think they are. I think they're still in their territory. So this is probably going to be a punt. I wouldn't try for that field goal anyways. Because if you miss that field goal, 
You give it right back. Yeah, they're going to punt. They are in their territory, but it would have been like a 60-yard field goal, so it's not worth it. They're going to try to pin them. This punt, it's a high-sailing punt, and it's going to find its way. Oh, only a 14-yard punt right there. Yeah, he, he, he wanted that back. That could have been a lot better. So the Rams, fortunate to get the ball back at the 30-yard line instead of what should have been like the 10-yard line. And their chances are coming right back after that math, after that Jared Goff pick. They're going to get this right back. 14 to 6, a minute and 45 on the clock. 1 minute and 43 seconds to go. 14 to 6, repeat down for the LA Rams. Another pass on the 30-yard line. This one is complete. Robert Woods breaks out of it. No one's even close to him. Touchdown, LA Rams. And this one for 6. It's a 14 to 12 game. And a two-point conversion is needed. So even if the Lions can get a stop here, they can still win the game. The Rams, they have to get this. This is huge. Lions, if they stop here, they're moving to the Super Bowl. But if the Rams do or get this, then we have overtime more than likely. What a play and what a game we have so far. This has been an insanely long game. But it looks like it's been worth it. Two-point conversion this is big. There's still a minute and 30 on the clock, too. And not just, just to mention, a minute and 30. But if they don't get this, this is game. Jared Goff from the two-yard line. They need this. Here it comes. Looks for the pass. Taking extra time. Can't find a receiver. Backs up. Here comes some pressure. No one's there. He's getting taken down. The Lions stop him. 14 to 12. The Lions, all they need to do is manage the clock and win this game now. Lions are just a few plays from the Super Bowl. Jared Goff struggled, couldn't find anybody, and gets taken down right there. And the Lions get this ball back with only one mission. Close it out and go to the Super Bowl. Insane how the Lions have made it this far and are looking to have a chance to win the Super Bowl versus the Patriots. Let's see if they can manage the clock down to zeros on the board. And it has been done. The Detroit Lions, the number 16 seed in the NFC, the worst record throughout the series. This game is over, and they're moving to the Super Bowl to play the Patriots. Unbelievable, they're one game away from winning. It, it, it's just insane. Can they do it? I think we're all rooting for the Lions. It's just up to the point if, if they can do it or not. The Patriots don't count them out either because they've been doing pretty good too. And the Patriots and the Lions, the two surprise teams out of this bracket, look at that, both in the Super Bowl. Final score from the SoFi Stadium, 14-12. to What a game. Super Bowl up next. And the Super Bowl between the Lions and the Patriots, we've seen some crazy matchups, but this one just puts the cherry on the top. This is the craziest Super Bowl matchup. The 16 seed versus the 6 seed. The Lions got the ball first in OT and are currently at the 30-yard line. So if they get a touchdown, game over. This one is going to be about 11 or 12-yard pickup to the 17-yard line. Of course, find the end zone. Game over. But well, they can give the Patriots a chance if they put up a field goal. However, already 11-yard pickup. They're looking to win this game with a touchdown in the Patriots end zone. 24 all in overtime from the 17-yard line. Line up again. Matthew Stafford, who, of course, as I said, supposed to be on the Rams, but the 2020 rosters. Can he win it with the Lions? Backs up. Looks for the pass. Complete this one. No. Knocked out in the last second, so that's going to be a second down and 10. Stops the clock in overtime. And the remain at the 17-yard line. Second down and 10. Repeat down for Matthew Stafford from the Lions. Hands this one off. That goes absolutely nowhere. Might just lose a yard or two, and it loses one yard. Third down and 11. So now the Lions got to get 11 yards if they want to stay in it for a touchdown. But the way we're looking at it right now, they're probably going to take a three for a field goal and give the ball back to Cam Newton and the Patriots. Let's just see, though. There's still one more play. I could be getting ahead of myself. Next play to get 11 yards off of the third down. All right, three minutes in overtime. 18-yard line. Third down and 11. Big pass coming up from Matthew Stafford. Can they stay in it? Here comes some pressure. Oh, he just gets that one off to a forward pass. Very close to a thumb fumble. But McCourtney comes off a blitz. And a really good blitz for the Patriots as well. It's a fourth down and 11. That was too close to comfort for Matthew Stafford and the Lions. As that was almost a fumble. Let's see. Well, yeah, I guess it was a forward passing motion. It did kind of look like it. So now, 4th and 11, they're going to attempt for a field goal. And let's see if they can put it up to the uprights with 
one of the best kickers in the game, which I'm pretty sure is, is it Matt Prater? I'm not too sure, actually. I could be wrong. This kick from around the 25-yard line, 30-yard field goal is up, and it's good. 27-24, the Patriots get the ball back with a chance. First play for Cam Newton, the Patriots down by three. If they don't get points here, the Lions will win a win. Here's a really quick pass. This one's going to gain all the way up to the 42-yard line. So that was a, it was about like a 17-yard gain right there. 13 reception for him as well. An impressive gain off a really quick pass from Cam Newton. And up to the 42-yard line with two minutes and 30, second, 30 seconds left in overtime. Time takes to around two minutes in OT from the 42-yard line. Need about 30 for a field goal, but they need a touchdown, of course. This one goes for the first down completion and back-to-back -back completions for the first down for the Patriots and Cam Newton now in Lions territory, the 45-yard line. So now the question is, can they get the end zone and win this Super Bowl, the 10th 32-team bracket Super Bowl? Now under two minutes in OT from the 45 in Lions territory. Cam Newton lines up around midfield. Four on the line for the Lions. They all rush. Cam Newton has time to pass. This one midfield. Three completions in a row. Patriots are driving with the Lions right now. 25-yard line now. Approach the red zone. And that's the first reception for him. 462 total yards of offense. 27 to 24. A minute and 30 on the clock. From the red zone, the 25-yard line, the Patriots. Cam Newton looks for a pass. This one's complete again. The Julian Edelman, what a move. Up to the 13-yard line, four straight completions for Cam Newton. Got him to the 13-yard line. What are the chances the Patriots sneak out the win here? It looks like they might. The Lions, not much hope for them. 13 yards to go for the Patriots. The Lions going to stop them somehow. A minute left in the clock. Can the Patriots do it? This is the farthest we've ever been to overtime. Hands the ball off. This one, run to the right outside. What a move! Finds its way to the end zone. The Patriots win the Super Bowl. How about that? And the 32-team bracket, the 10th edition, comes to a close with Sony Michelle knocking it in. 30-27, to our final score from the Super Bowl. With that being said, the New England Patriots are the 10th 32-bracket Super Bowl champions. Well, here's a look at our final bracket on the screen right now. It's been a crazy one. Patriots and the Lions the Super Bowl. The Lions were so close to winning it, and they're the 16 seed as well. We'll probably never see that again. That was the only opportunity the Lions of the 16 seed ever have to win the Super Bowl. But the Patriots win their second. So now the Rams, the Patriots, and the Chiefs, they've all won two of them in the 32 team bracket series. Of course, spoiler warning, as I already said in the beginning. Here's a look at the bracket. Thank you guys for watching the 32 team bracket series 1 through 10. And for you guys that are new, thank you for watching the 10 32 team bracket. If you're new here, watched all the way through this video, why not subscribe because I do this kind of stuff all the time. Probably a 30 to 45 minute video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.